to an ABC News exclusive, a new lawsuit about the unintended firing of a type of handgun widely used by police. Senior investigative correspondent David Scott, new member of our team, welcome to GMA. Thanks for bringing us this story. Thank you so much. Good morning to you all. Well, no one needs a gun that goes off by itself, but that's exactly what's being alleged in a new lawsuit that dozens of such incidents have occurred across the country involving a popular handgun and experienced police officers. Brittany Hilton is a mother of three daughters and a detective at the Bridge City Police Department in Texas. She never imagined what she says happened last winter inside her station house. Take me back sure. to December 1st. It was a normal day. I grab my purse and I put the two straps on my forearm. My purse kind of swings out and I hear a loud um, pop. My first thought was, our gun's gone off. Then I took one step and I felt this pain. It felt like a hot rod of metal had just been placed not only in my private, but through my, my leg. The gun was Hilton's police service weapon, which she says was holstered in her purse a semi-automatic pistol called the Sig Sauer P320. She insists it went off on its own. Hilton has now filed a $15 million federal lawsuit alleging that the P320 has serious design and manufacturing flaws. It has a clear capacity to fire without the trigger being pulled under certain conditions. According to Hilton's lawsuit, quote, there have been at least 54 reported uncommanded discharges of the P320, occurring over the last five years in 22 states and Washington, D.C. Sig Sauer has not yet filed a response in court to Hilton's suit. Never in my wildest dreams would I have believed that my gun would just have shot me. At least nine other lawsuits pending against Sig Sauer also claim the gun went off by itself. Sig Sauer denied our request for comment, but has publicly stated, quote, the P320 meets and exceeds all U.S. standards for safety. In the past, the company has blamed plaintiffs for mishandling the gun and said in a report to Hilton's police department at the time, quote, a foreign object entered the trigger guard, causing the pistol to discharge. There is no way that anything could have gotten into my purse, into the trigger guard, and pulled that trigger. Joshua Harrison is a firearms expert and consultant for ABC News. We asked him to review material from Hilton's legal team. He says the company offered an upgrade in 2017 that he believes should have cured the misfire issue. I have not seen enough to convince me that the upgraded version is dangerous. Several of the pending lawsuits involve the upgraded version of the gun. Is it a mystery to you what's going wrong with the updated version. I do not have an explanation for why the updated version should have these complaints from trained individuals. If it's not legal momentum, then it would have to be some other mechanism of failure. Detective Hilton says she now lives in pain and worries the same thing will happen to another officer. You think about that? Every day. Recently, Hilton's department has concluded that the incident was an uncommanded discharge, and the department is taking the P320 out of service. There's still about a half million of the P320s in the U.S. used by civilians and cops. A real surprising story. Thanks for bringing it. Thank you. You can see David's full report tonight on Nightline.